Hello, this is Chris from JPBM. This episode is about Japanese people need to stop pretending foreigners can't speak Japanese. Like, there's so many times where you're speaking Japanese to them and they're like, I don't understand what you're saying. But it's like, you, you do, come on, you need to stop this. And there are a lot of people here who can't speak Japanese. Yeah, this uh, Australian family over here, they don't give a shit. They're just on vacation. Oh yeah, this French couple over here, they don't understand Japanese. They're just here to see the sights. But I did see a French couple at a bar. And the guy was like, Ni Biru. And the staff was like, what is he saying? What is he saying? And I know that's not correct. But he's holding up two fingers, ichi, ni, and he's saying biru. Try and read the air, asshole. Um, you have to go out of your way to be pretending you don't understand what he's saying. If you're in America, someone's like, beer, poo, you're going to go, okay, beer, two. You get two beers. That's what you're ordering. You're holding up two. You're saying beer. I guess that's what you mean. But the staff there was like, what, they were having a huge debate. What is he saying? What is he saying? He's pointing to the menu. Uh, ni, biru. And you see, this is my problem. You see all these people on on Facebook, on YouTube. If only foreigners could speak Japanese, we'd be happy to talk to them. And then you get even worse people saying, just, just try. You don't even try to speak. They're trying. He's even giving you the help. One, two, two beers, please. So then the staff is like, does he want bean biru? Oh, that's only a completely different word. Did he say I want bottled beer? You have to go out of your way to make them look like assholes. And then I stepped in. I typically don't care either way. I don't like foreigners. I don't like tourists. I don't even like Japanese. I don't like part-time workers. I don't like anybody here, to be honest. But I'm like, this is getting... To me, because I'm sitting next to them, and the staff isn't fucking giving me my food. <laughs> like, I gotta step in at some point. I'm hungry. <laughs> so I'm like, explaining in Japanese, they want two draft beers. And then I turn to the guy, I'm like, you want two draft beers? You don't want bottled beers? I'm saying this in English. They're French. They can understand what I'm saying. The staff isn't trying at all. So I'm like... You you want you don't want the beer you don't want a beer or you don't want a bottle of beer you want the draft yes and they're confused they're puzzled they're like why are you asking us this like shouldn't they just be giving us our drinks so then I explained to the Japanese staff they want two draft beers and even I'm holding up two fingers and I'm still explaining in Japanese and they're still just like we don't know we don't know I can hear them in the back of the restaurant talking to the manager what do we do and they bring out two bottle beers and they're like is this what you want and i'm like i already explained this to you why are you pretending i don't speak japanese i've been here like 10 years you think i can't order two beers i'm a big boy i can order a lot of beers come on man so this whole pretending we don't understand we don't we can't comprehend japanese it's just it's got to stop yeah, it, and it's like the two a uh, uh, busload of Chinese tourists. One, they don't give a fuck. They just want to buy hygiene products. They just want to see things that aren't oppression. <laughs> they just want to see happiness. Uh, they don't speak Japanese. They don't care. They can probably read the kanji, but they don't care uh, enough to learn the language just for you know a little vacation. Um, and anyone from America, Europe, they don't. They, they just want to have... They don't care. But people living here, you think we don't understand any words? I hear this all the time. And I've been here so long that I just expect no one to talk to me, even if they live in the same building as me, even if they work in the same place. And I've complained sometimes... Like, once a year, I'll complain to the Japanese staff, like, man, I don't get any greetings here. And they go, well, they don't speak English. Really? I've been here 10 years. You think I don't know one word? Americans know, like, konnichiwa and shit like that. Uh, sayonara? Like, you think I don't comprehend even one word? 
and you are so racist that you go, he doesn't even understand the concept of greetings in a different language. They didn't say hello. Uh, they said Ohio. They didn't say good morning in, in perfect English. I don't know what that could mean. Really? We work in adjacent buildings and you think I don't understand. Uh -huh. In the morning when we're going to work. So let me list off a group of people who definitely understand Japanese. So you can kind of maybe understand these people do, these people don't. I'm helping you out. It's getting, it's bothering me at this point. Like it's a little sickening to be honest. So tourists. No. Americans and Westerners who've lived here two, maybe even three years, probably not. Um, Asians who live here, yes. And Japanese people know that they speak Japanese because they only speak Japanese to them. You're fucking Filipino? Fuck off. You're not getting any fake English from me. Um, you're going to work for me. You better learn the language. And the Asians are like, yeah, we'll learn in a year or two. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. We got to listen to complaints and criticisms and yelling. We're going to learn the language, so we're good. So Asians are okay. Africans, Indians who come here to work, uh, they, you, well, you know they speak Japanese. Indian running a restaurant, he, he understands Japanese. Uh, the African guy at the club entrance, he knows enough to get by. He's fine. Um, so I guess that just leaves foreigners who've been here a long time. But she doesn't understand Japanese, and she's been here a while. She's a asexual Canadian feminist no, she doesn't understand Japanese. She's selfish. She doesn't care. She only wants this Japan. She doesn't care about this Japan. She only cares about uh, kimono. I'm white, but I feel like I should be able to wear a kimono. She doesn't care about learning the language or the culture. She's just in it for the f facade, basically. And, and actually, that person probably understands a good deal because there's certain aspects of Japan she may want to experience so she's gonna learn at least that okay so then i'm talking about foreigners who have been here 10 years you still treat us like sh well shit you still treat us terribly but you think we don't understand any words well japanese people are so shy yeah how come when i'm by myself you won't leave me alone where are you from? Where are you from? This is not the actions of a shy individual. Where are you from? And I'm ignoring you. I've been here 10 years. I know. Well, this doesn't even help either. They eventually start tapping you on the shoulder. Where are you from? 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 Where? Motherfucker, I'm trying to eat my meal. I'm trying to drink. I don't need, I don't need this shit. Oh, let me fucking touch your big nose. Big nose. How about you don't touch me in public? It takes a lot of self-control for me to not clock you in the fucking face. Um, and if I do, there's no way I'm gonna not go to prison. You punched a Japanese man in public? What was he doing? I just wanted to touch his face. I'm so shy. I'm so scared of foreigners now. They won't let me fucking touch them. <laughs> um, so, fucking... Any time, okay, I'm eating and drinking by myself. Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Okay, well, America. Where's this conversation going? Oh, it's not going anywhere. Can we speak Japanese? No. They'll die on their fucking shield to prevent you from ever getting Japanese practice here. Where, or they'll fucking freak out at you. Where are you from? Nani? <laughs> you know a single word? Yeah. You know, where are you from? You know four words, I can't know one, motherfucker. So, eating by myself won't leave me alone. Um, with my friends, they'll still bother you. 
a family. Hold on, this seems like a intimate family moment. Let me go fucking bother them. I'm so shy though. Um, even with my Japanese girlfriend. Fucking constantly interjecting and fucking trying to bother me. I say me because I'm a little selfish. And she, it's just in her own world anyways. So, this lie of we're so shy has to stop too. Please, show me one shy person. Oh, like your students, she's like a teenager. She's not, sh she's not shy because she's Japanese. She's shy because she's a developing teenage girl. Like, what are you talking about? Um, you know, I'm really shy. You're paying $200 a month to learn English. You're not shy. You're just weird. Um, so this whole lie of we don't understand. Well, hold on. That's not even what I'm talking about. We don't understand your Japanese. It has to stop. I mean, if someone literally says, can I have a bag? And you go, what, no bag? That means you, uh, there's something going on with you that's the problem. Not me. I'm saying the, I'm saying the script correctly. One bag, please. You're supposed to say, okay, that'll be three in or five in. Then I go, uh, I have a fucking pile of frozen food. I'll take the five in one, I guess. It's that simple, but every step of the way, it's just denial, 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 denial. How, why are you even denying this? Why do you want to deny foreigners the possibility to speak Japanese or to even comprehend it? I don't like comparing Japan to America, but in America, if I see an Asian, they speak English, I go, yay, that's good. If I'm working at the grocery store and a Mexican family uh, speaks to me, Excuse me, sir. Where's the rice? I don't go. I don't speak Spanish. I don't know how to help you. I go. Oh, the rice. So let me take you to aisle six. It's in aisle sixteen. I'll take you anyways. But in Japan, where's the? I asked one guy. Where's the salt? I'm in the spices aisle. I see pepper. I see fucking paprika. I don't even know what that means. I'm hoping it's a spice because in Japanese, paprika is like a bell pepper. So I'm seeing garlic. I'm seeing garlic salt. I'm seeing garlic salt. Uh, sumimasen. Shio wa doko desu ka? <laughs> and he's got his phone out. Shio. Salt? Yeah, that's only the word I said. Do you think I meant fucking tuna fish? He asked me for salt, but he doesn't speak Japanese because he's a foreigner, so he must mean something else. How about you just, as a part-time grocery store worker go you know what it's easy for me if i just take him to the salt or just say salt the salt was literally in its own salty aisle like and i guess the staff was being a little salty too so it was literally in its own aisle so that's where I, my brain would go oh he doesn't know that the salt has its own aisle he's in the spices aisle let me take him to the next aisle over but freaking out, fucking. It says in broken Google Translate English, wanting of salt. <laughs> wanting of salt. How about you just go, it's over here. So, fucking, it's gotta stop. It's not funny anymore. It's just, it's, I can all, but that's how they shut you down at every opportunity, every angle. They got to shut you down. They don't want you to gain any access to real Japan. I don't know what that's about either. Oh, you can all, How about you go to the Disney World? How about you fuck off? I don't even live in Chiba. I live in Osaka. Can I just have fun here? Can I ask you what's a good place to go? And you go, oh, I really like this place. But no, you just shut us down. I think my uh, McDonald's is closed. What? Where's a good place to drink? How about you just go, this name, this part of town. Uh, they can't even answer simple questions. It, it's, it's all about denial, denial, denial. And another thing is, sometimes you will go, yikes, my Japanese isn't up to par here. 
fucking renting a house. They're reading off the, the contracts, like, the, which, the, that just shows you how hard the Japanese is. They pay someone. Some woman's job is, I sit on my ass all day, and then they hand me the contract, and I read it really fast in Kago. Yeah, I don't understand that. I wish I did. I wish I had the opportunity to, well, not to move here, because that sucks, but I wish I had the opportunity to learn these words, but you refuse. And I don't know fucking contract English either. Do you think that's easy? Uh, do you think that's easy in every language? Oh, I, I, he just knows, uh, you know, legalese. He knows, like, lawyers speak and stuff. I'm skipping over that shit, too, in English. If you hand me a contract, that's why I, you get the terms of services. Scroll down, check. I, don't, I, I read it all, baby. Th that's how that works. Like... I, I want the opportunity to even mess up. I want the opportunity to go, I don't know what you're saying, and I can learn from this. But I don't get those opportunities either. I only get, he doesn't understand Japanese, so shut him down. Um, and that's not helpful. That doesn't help me. It doesn't help you either. I guess you get a little ego boost. A little 20 seconds of feeling... you. Message your mom on line. Oh, this foreigner didn't understand this fucking legal speak. He didn't understand the terms of services. I didn't either, but like, I can read them if I tried. So, I don't know. It's just got to end at some point. It's just getting too much to, for me. Like, it's not fun living here. It's really not pleasant. But the Combinis, yeah, they're assholes too. Those are the biggest assholes around here. I'm like, you work at a Combini on New Year's Eve and day. I'm off, mother... I got a week off. You think you're better than me? You think you can still... I'm going to the same Combini for fucking five years. You think you can still pretend I don't speak any Japanese? Those are the worst people, man. And those are the people that work with foreigners, too. Those are the people that work with Filipinos and... I almost said Mexicans. Those are the people that work with fucking Middle Easterners and Africans and Philip Asians and and then one guy comes in there who's an American suddenly I don't think you're speaking Japanese. But when that guy fucks up, you're gonna let him have it. You're gonna he's gonna get an earful. <laughs> but uh I order something behind the counter and suddenly it's you have to walk over I watch what do you want? That's why I got to the point where I would tap on the glass. I want this. I'm not gonna stop tapping till you stop pretending I don't speak Japanese. Which that wasn't fun either. I literally just want to go this please, and you go oh, okay, and give it to me, and then I leave. I can leave. You're making me stay longer. If you don't want to see foreigners, give me my food and get me out the door. So. Anywho, this whole stuff has to stop. And the one times they do understand that we speak Japanese is when we say something that is anti-Japan, that isn't like, like Asagiri Jason bullshit. Then they suddenly drop the facade and they're like, you know what, why don't you blah, 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 blah. Then, oh, oh why don't I start picking more fights? Why don't I start legitimately calling you out and fucking forcing you to... I don't want to do that either. But that seems to be the only way to get you to act right. So, I guess it comes down to either Japanese society can change to stop pretending we don't understand Japanese. Or, you know what, I can just start forcing you. To listen to me. You know what? I'm not going to leave. Today's my day off. I actually have Mondays off. I, will, I have Sunday, Monday off. So I'm going to fucking make you listen to me. I'm going to cause a scene. Which I don't want to do. But hey, I just wanted a piece of chicken. You could just give it to me. Anywho. That's the end of my little rant. It just It's just got to stop. And then you know what? People who don't speak Japanese, make fun of them all you want, too. I don't give a shit. 
If you want to move to Japan and you think you can get around with English only, you're sadly mistaken. You could. You're not going to live a good life. Make fun of them. I make fun of them too. We can bond about this. But you'll shut me down if I try and bond with you. So, you know what? Uh, you got to change. Sorry.